to Crazy Downs, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's start the timer. ba -ding. Dude. Dudes. I don't know if you heard, but our friend has taken his final fantastic voyage. Coolio uh, has passed away. Oh, I thought you were talking about Jesse Smollett. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jeez. your man. Jeez. No, we gave him to you, but no, dude, I, don't I thought he was. But yeah, dude, Coolio died. Yeah, I heard. Unfortunate, man. Yeah, Unfortunate. and he, uh, I mean... They said he just like he was at his friends and went into the bathroom and just never came out and he had a heart attack. Yeah, he was. Uh, well, they, they, I don't think, at least as I know, as of yesterday, they had no no cause of death. But yeah, he was found in the bathroom, unresponsive. Yeah, what it said was they didn't think drugs and alcohol would evolve. They think he had a heart attack. Mm -hmm. I like. Did he used to have drug problems? Do you remember? Like, was he? Cause was he? Was he one of those like? Got, you you know, used there was to all have those people from the ninety that and like yeah. some of them had really like in the news drug problems yeah. where they're in rehab i don't feel like coolio was though you had drug problems in the 90s everybody did okay then <laughs> no but i mean like was he like arrested for crack and went on one of those reality shows for rehab or like you okay. know there was all those guys that did that stuff yeah i don't know if he was dmx bad um but yeah flavor flav bad like yeah, those sort of things yeah. like but you know like i said i'm everybody... sure he got high i mean all those 90s rappers i'm sure Ugh. smoked all the weed everybody did it in the 90s yeah everybody yeah, wrong, had a, everybody so. had a drug problem in the 90s I, I yeah that's to, a uh, to let it slide that's a weird way to go man like what? i don't know if he was like deucing like he elvis did out dude he like wow. died like on the toilet like dropping a deuce or well, i'm not gonna do this i'm not gonna do that <laughs> yeah you're not going down no, no I'm, I'm going somewhere with it okay? i'm, not I'm sure but i'm not gonna i'm not crack specifically jokes. talking about coolio this is what it sounds like you do no 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 but no where i was going with that was like how would you feel if that was the way like you went like would, like you're on the toilet would would you be okay with that or like would you want to just like die in your sleep yeah, do you want right. to like drown yeah. like no no now you know you're dealing with somebody that's that's very uh marcus aurelius pilled right now so i'm gonna have to tell you is that you don't get to choose so yes well, right. would i be Absolutely. cool with it yeah i'm getting yeah i have to be cool with it because there's nothing i can do about it well yeah i feel you right like you i know? like to me how they're like how do you how do you want to die i mean like i mean i guess if i went to sleep and didn't wake up that's probably the best case scenario okay yeah cool so i get you if i had to choose yeah that's how, what i mean I that's what i'm out. talking about yeah how i would choose um i would snoo snoo maybe <laughs> death by snoo snoo maybe like you know like a moderate snoo snoo so okay. much that it just like you know I just pass out. And I feel you I, on that. An orgasm so strong. And, and I would be, <laughs> I'd be okay with that too. Mm -hmm. But I would like, there, there's a part of me it, would that would like, I don't want that because I could imagine what that would do to the other person. Like that would traumatize them to no end. Yeah. Like imagine if you were banging a chick and she died. Like. If I was, give, never mind. Yeah. I, whatever. Dude. Now you look, now listen, now that actually happened. Oh, yeah, it, it happens was, all the time to it people. It does. It does happen all the time. There was, uh, remember, there was a dude that was, um, it, his young lady was performing fellatio on him, and they enjoy doing it a, a little bit more, with a little bit more gusto than the average couple. Like the David Koresh style? Uh, look, whatever that means. I don't know who those people the are. Kung Fu guy? Okay, sure. You know, he she enjoyed it a little harder than, than your normal woman, and it was a, they had a deal, and she ended up suffocating and dying from it. Yeah, and man. he didn't. He was not brought up on charges because they had like an agreement. That a consensual. It was a consensual yeah. act that went. It was like, but see, I feel like they still kind of got you for involuntary manslaughter on that because, because <laughs> like you didn't murder them and they, but they did die at your hands by accident. That's Bruh. involuntary manslaughter. Yo, I ain't mean to do it. <laughs> right. She yeah, told me like, to keep going. But yeah, dude. But that's like that, that's like if like you were like, hey, shoot me with this gun. That's okay. And I'm like, and I'm like, no, dude, I don't want to shoot you with a gun. And you're like, no, dude, I got, I, I can't get shot with bullets anymore. And I'm like, okay. And I shot you, and you died. They'd still charge me with involuntary manslaughter. Did the YouTuber who shot that her girl? boyfriend with the with the Desert Eagle through a phone book? Did uh, did she get? I think she got her? charged. Did she? I mean, he was, it would be hard to think not. Yeah, because I mean, if anything, for criminal stupidity. Like, yeah, just I would think involuntary manslaughter. They said they said that uh. Uh, I heard something somewhere that like the more they investigate that whole thing with Alec Baldwin on that set and whatever mm -hmm. that like they think he might be charged with something like involuntary manslaughter and I'm like and I still I, like they said that he because he claims the gun went off yeah and all like their investigation seems to say that he pulled the trigger now 
Does Oof. that matter in the long run? Because ultimately there shouldn't have been a real bullet in the gun. Yeah, 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 yeah. But gun safety, you should never pull the trigger at something yeah. you don't intend to kill. Yeah. So even if he was like pointing it at the lady, just like, ha ha, pull the trigger. And yeah. there was a real bullet and it shot her. So maybe like negligence. Right. He still was. He still pointed it at someone and yeah. pulled the trigger. Yeah. I mean, did he have any reason to believe a real bullet was in there? No, there should not have been a real bullet in there at all. No way, no how. Right. <laughs> But anyways, back to like, yeah, like how you would die. Yeah, dude. I don't want to like, go out then. Man. Dude, I think I think just like in the sleep is probably the most peaceful. Like you're just like, oh, I'm going to go to bed. And then you just that's it. No, that's lame because I got shit to do tomorrow. Well, yeah, but you don't know no different. I know, but I would be mad because I'd be like, I got stuff to do. I don't want to drown or probably burn up in a fire. Those no, are, nothing painful. Yeah, those are out of the question. Like, and I don't think drowning is so much painful. It's just like the fear that will set in once you realize I'm effed. Yeah, yeah like it's like you're like oh i'm in the water i'm okay and then once you realize <laughs> i'm gonna drown that would be the worst like however long of time before you went yes yes because drowning sucks because you're underwater you're trying to panicking pan yeah dude yeah oh that would be yeah and that would you're be like bad. oh my god i don't no 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 like i said man if there was a way to just like take me out through like ecstasy like so much that my mind so much pleasure that you just die yeah now you yeah. know they, they do have those uh those coffins and uh they uh no, i shouldn't say coffins i should say the assisted suicide devices you've heard of these oh yeah well yeah and well, they I mean, re they release like a gas into the chamber that is considered like the most painless way to die apparently you just like you pass out and then you well that's away. what they say uh the death uh, the lethal injections like because they get the first injections like a like a calming. There's three injections, yeah, yeah, yeah. and one is like a like a calming something. The other one's something else, and the third one just like slows your heart rate until you die or something. So you like you don't even feel anything because you're like basically they're just like morphine, and you're just like ooh I feel and I'm dead. Uh, wow, I guess that's kind of a way to go, huh? Yeah, dude. I'm I'm serious. They're gonna start offering that to people, man. We need to thin, uh, we need to thin the herd. Uh, okay, I, I'll t I mean like, dude, I. Okay, I see the reason why that suicide is illegal, right? Yeah. But, like, at the same time, if if you – like, I don't think anyone should just be able to wake up and walk down the street to the doctor and be like, I hate my life today. I want to die. Like, I think people get in bad spots. You would make bad decisions, yeah, things yeah. like that. Yeah, but yeah. if your quality of life is nothing and you're like, I would rather just be gone. Ugh. Like, medically, your quality of – like, you can't – like, either – Whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I think that people, I don't see why that's more of a, as much of a problem because, like, if your life is complete hell because you can't do anything yourself or you're you're just oh, you mean like if you're like uh you're like in a hospital and you can't move, you can't yeah, or even like kind of or even like uh Robin Williams, Hunter S. Thompson, like they their minds were going and they knew they weren't the same person and they're like, I want to go out on my terms, I'm gonna be. In, I'm see where this is going. Like I'm at the point where I'm still cognizant enough to know that like I'm not okay. myself, but I haven't lost my mind yet. Like I don't want to leave my family with like a, a shell of myself because I'm getting Alzheimer's or dementia or whatever. Or if and you should have like a, a terminal illness, right? Or you have a terminal illness, like. But yeah, I don't think like yeah, just like a 17 year old kid can just go down there and be like, oh, life sucks. I want to be assisted suicided. Like I don't think that's quite. Where no, I think it would I, go, and, and, I, and I, I mean, and I get it because the idea is that you know somebody who feels that they want to die and they really have like nothing physically wrong with them, you're like that person can be helped. And they they obviously need help, right? Exactly. Like it's a, there's a lot of difference between someone who's like they're they're helpless essentially. Yeah, like, yeah, dude. I don't know. I don't, it's a weird line to walk, man. But a little bit, man. This is this has been a very cursed episode. A cursed? It's cursed. Cursed? Oh no. <laughs> cursed. Oh no. Just talking about so. death the entire time. It's yeah, cool. dude. I don't know, man. Death is weird. <laughs> R rest in peace, Coolio. <laughs> <laughs> We're never. Death is weird, dude. Oh, okay. I mean, we're never getting out of life alive, right? So, oh, well, you know. Anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we are out.